Um, I, I guess what, what's it been like for you? Kind of you kind of paid your dues working on the practice squad, working your way up. Now you're getting an opportunity and playing a lot of snaps. How has that been, and just how more com- how much more comfortable are you now as you've uh, obviously logged a lot of playing time? I feel like it just come with time, and uh, and um, it come with help. You know, um, this is a team effort. Uh, you know, for me, uh, I got a lot of help from the players. You know, a lot of help from the coaches, and uh, it's been a great experience. You know, because uh, I bounced around the league a little bit, and um, and, you know, I'm getting a chance to you know, showcase what I can do. So it's been an amazing experience. It's been a learning experience. and I'm excited for the opportunity. Who are some guys that have kind of, again, you've been around a little bit, but who are some guys here that have kind of taken uh, you under their wing and kind of helped you be ready for this opportunity? Um, It's been everybody. You know, uh, Kevin's been in my ear um, hard. You know, um, I play on his side and, and, you know, he talks to me every play. You know, I encourage him to talk to me every play, even when I know what's going on. And, you know, um, like I say, you know, it's been a team effort. You know, it's been, you know, all of the corners, um, you know, helping me along. You know, um, Adore helping me, you know, uh, Kevin, Mal. You know, it's been everybody, as well as the coaches, you know, um, spending extra time with me. And, uh, you know, it's been a team effort. And one more from me. Just, I, I know I think it was Shane that was kind of talking you up, saying that he, he liked your competitiveness, how, how you didn't back down in practices, whether it's against AJ or whoever it is, how much – do you think that kind of helped you establish yourself here, just your competitiveness and and unwillingness to back down from anybody? I mean, yeah, that's just that's just, you know, um, you know, kind of what I was raised on, you know, from uh from uh Duke in college. And you know, um I've always been in a position where I've had to prove myself. So, you know, uh coming in here early, uh, you know, my first week coming in here, you know, I wanted to make a good first impression. So you know, I took some chances on a few routes and I, I I made a few plays and it and it worked out pretty good for me. But you know, uh competing is everything they preach here and like, you know, that's what I'm just trying to do. John Glenn. Yeah, Brian, um, what did you, uh, you know, even though you had played, obviously, in the NFL before you came here, what, what did you feel like you had to show the Titans, um, you know, when you were on the practice squad uh, in order to get that call up and, and in order to, to, you know, get a regular spot? I mean, I just had to show them that, that you know, um, that, you know, that, you know, I can play. Like, like you know, I, I always felt like I can play, you know, um, whether I, you know, got playing time or not at other teams. And, you know, um, I feel like a lot of things, you know, have uh, slowed down for me over the years. You know, I've learned from a lot of great coaches. And um, and it all just goes back, man, to making plays. Like, if you make plays, you feel me, I feel like you go get on the field. And I came here, I made a few plays early, and, you know, with the help of my teammates and my coaches, especially like, you know, I am where I am, you feel me, at right now. Yeah, and I think uh, if I'm reading my, my stats correctly, I think he went from like seven snaps one week to about 77 the next. Uh, <laughs> yeah. how, how difficult has uh, has that been uh, to make, you know, such a huge jump um, in, in playing time? Oh, no lie. I mean, it's been difficult, you know, as far as, you know, rip count in my body, you know, like the last time I played 70 snaps was, you know, maybe this time last year. So it was tough on me, but I mean, you know, like I say, you know, the culture here is, is, you know, um, you know, be tough, you know, take care of your body, compete and, um, and, you know, be a pro. So it's been tough on me, you know, and, uh, like I said, like, as far as play wise, you know, I, it's just, you know, I, 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 the coaches work with me, you know, a lot. You know, my teammates helped me so much. Like, this isn't just me. You know, it's a team effort. So, I'm very grateful for it. Thank you. Steve Lyman. Brian, thanks for doing this. Uh, you speak about the culture. What's the, I guess, challenge or, or emphasis for a guy like you? This team's got such high expectations. It struggled a bit on the back end. You step into the lineup, and you're kind of one of the guys that needs to be an answer. Do you feel any pressure or is – that extra motivation to fit in and try and solve that? Oh, for me, I mean, it's definitely pressure. Like, I'm not one of those guys go sit here and say, you know, there's no pressure in playing. Like, yeah, like, I mean, I've bounced around the league. So, so you know, it's definitely pressure to perform. But I just feel like, you know, it's all about preparation. And, you know, um, it's like I keep, you know, keep harping on. Like, it's truly a team effort. Like, you know, I haven't spoke to nobody about this. But, I mean, that's what it is. Like, you know, my um, my uh, coaches made sure that I'm comfortable with the play calling. You know, um the guys, you know, they're not, you know, they're cool with me. And, um, I mean, it's definitely pressure, but, you know, it's about going out there and performing. And, um, 
I'm just trying to do what I can to help the team. Like, like you know, I've, I've kind of always had a motto, you know, because I've been on Peace Squad was, you know, make the team, make the team better, you know, like, like you feel me? And anything I got to do, you feel me to make the team better, I will do. You've been doing that. Now, now you got to go up and you've got this matchup against the Ravens and the MVP from last year. Is that at all daunting when you have to think about playing, you know, 75, maybe 80 snaps against Lamar Jackson in that offense? Yeah, I mean, he's a – you feel me? I feel like he's one of a kind. Like, like, you feel me? There's only one Lamar Jackson. And, um, and you know, we go – you feel me? Do what we can to slow him down. And, you know, um, I feel like, you know, we're going to come to the game ready. And like I said, you know, it's pressure, but, I mean, there is no fear – and you feel me? I feel like none of us. I mean, but I mean, for me personally, like, yeah, I mean, it's pressure to perform, but you know, it's all about how you perform. That's right. Yeah, Breon, for you, knowing that there is that pressure to perform and then even coming in and wanting to show this staff that, that you're capable of performing, it, it, is it tough? Because as a corner, you know, you have to calculate a risk. Is, is it tough, like, balancing? not being too risky, but still be taking those those shots when you need to? Oh, yeah. Um, you know, for me, I had to find a balance because, you know, um, I've learned, you know, kind of over my years, you know, that all comes with preparation. Like, like you know, you get, um, you get, um, you know, little signals and, you know, of when you want to sit on the route or, or you know, um, you get a formation, um, you know, from film study that, that you know, you're going to be expecting a post right here. So you go play over the top. So, uh, you know, I mean, it's all about preparation. I mean, I mean, you got to make a play. I mean, you got to make chances. Like, you got to um, take chances, especially a corner. But, you know, I mean, it's, it's, it's all in the game. It's all in preparation. And then you continue to see these teams use that bunch formation and naturally make you guys back up. But, and they have the switch releases off of that. How can you develop that communication that, that you need to have to – exchange or do the things that you need to do to, to stay with your man, even through those picks? Um, it's all about uh, prep, from st- um, prep, film study, uh, reps out there in practice, and, uh, you know, just working together with your teammates. You know, um, you know, uh, try to limit bust, you know, but it's all in preparation. Like, you know, um, obviously they go come out and, 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 you know, you feel me, do some different things that, you know, that, um, you know, they showed on film, but, I mean, I mean, that's why we practice. That's why we practice to, you know, prepare for the bunches. You know, that's why you feel me. The coaches are hard on us. And, um, and you know, I think I think we're going to be pretty prepared, you know, come uh, game time. Thank you. Uh, last one, Kayla. Hey, Brian, uh, going off of TD's question, just a little bit at the end there, he mentioned the word communication. I mean, we continue to hear this every single day when we're talking to one of you guys in the defense. Um, what is it being a new guy on this team? Do you feel like the communication thing is just something that's um, isn't being able to be, be fixed right now? Or why does that word keep on coming up when, when we talk to every single defensive player? I mean, I just feel like that's vital into, into you know, um, into, you know, working together and, and, you know, stand on the same page. Like, like, you know, communication is the key. Like, like, you know, I, like, Yes, I mean, we're all responsible for, you know, knowing what, I mean, we got to do. But, you know, there's a, there's a lot of new pieces and, and you feel me in a lot of new places. And, and you know, um, we're just trying to, you know, communicate, you know, stay together, you know, um, and, and, and perform at the highest level. So you would say just individuals need to take more responsibility just to make sure everybody's doing their part, right? Yeah, like, I mean, I feel like communication is, is you know, it's everybody's job. You know, um, obviously, you know, the safeties are the main communicators and the, and the LBs are the main communicators, but it's a lot going on. Like the safety not only have to, you know, communicate, but he had to, you know, like there's a lot of the checks that he got to do as well. So, um, you know, I feel like, you know, it's all of our job to, to you know, communicate.